I hope you enjoy our show, our presentation of Nana's Naughty Knickers. Um, you're in for a few giggles, I think. And uh, just sit back and enjoy the show. You'll have a wonderful time. Thank you.
are your heart ailments, Vera? What? Officer Tom. Oh. <laughs> He's here? Wait, a weird rip. How do I look, kid? Like you just chased Nana 20 blocks? Oh. Well, you got a little smudge. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. I must admit, I've got a very strong grandmotherly interest in that boy. Well, good afternoon, Sylvia. Hi, Mrs. Walters. Nice to see you, boy. Oh, Thomas. It was wonderful you to help Bridget with her things. What well, such a big, strong police officer that you. You're a real comfort to have around. Well, geez, thanks, Sylvia. I'm still kind of new in the force. The other guys kind of hassle me. No. Yeah, they think I'm too soft. Well, that's not true. Either. Yeah. I just like helping people. Of course you do, dear. Oh, well, hold on a second. You got something on your cheek. <laughs> oh, your skin is so soft. <laughs> what kind of lotion do you use? <laughs> <laughs> well, you come by during your break, and we'll have some cookies ready for you. Bridget will help you bake. I want you, Bridget. You don't bake. Well, we don't want to keep you from your job. You come by soon. Okay, thanks, I will. Oh, Bridget, want me to help me move boxes into the closet? Actually, Tom, that'd be great. That top one has my dishes and things in it. You think you can put it in the top of the closet? Sure, no problem. No nonsense. You put that box down there and don't you worry about a thing. Really, it's no problem. I don't want you to strain yourself. <laughs> Nana, it's not a strain. He's actually tall enough to reach it. Well, I'll put it up there later. How? I thought you stopped lifting your arms above your head back in 98. <laughs> well, I'll use a ladder. Oh. Now, Thomas, we don't want you to get into trouble with your job. You really ought to be going. Okay. Bye, ladies. Bye, Tom. Bye, Bridget. Bye, Bridget. <laughs> wrong with Tom going into the closet? Well, it's like I said, I don't want him to strain himself. Oh, come on now, Cornflake. I wasn't embarrassing you in front of anybody. Vera probably couldn't hear me anyways. <laughs> oh, I can actually. I just wish I couldn't. <laughs> um, it's just weird, that's all. Oh, nonsense. I didn't want him to overexert himself. I take care of all the men in my life in special ways. The men? Yes, there's sweet Thomas, of course. And then there's old Mr. Tompkins, the man at the desk downstairs. Well, I give him treats now and then. Thomas, he's behaving. <laughs> you, you what? There's a lot in that sentence you don't want to know about. <laughs> and then there's uh, Mr. Schmidt. Who's that? Our landlord. Mm -hmm. I thought Mr. Haven was your landlord. Oh, not anymore, dear. His son-in-law took over six or seven years ago. It's Mr. Schmidt. Mm -hmm. um, Penny Pitcher. He charges the highest rates this side of the duck pond. Except Sylvia, of course. Oh, yes, we got in on the ground floor. You know, rent control keeps us paying a fraction of what everybody else does. Oh, Mr. Haven, never mind. But it sure gets under Schmidt's skin. Mm -hmm. So how do you take care of him? Mm -hmm. Well, I act like Vera. The more senile he thinks I am, <laughs> then, then the happier he gets. And then the frailer I act, the closer he thinks I am to that rent-free apartment in the sky, or uh, assisted living. I don't think he has a choice or preference. There's nothing like the prospect of a good funeral to get people lighthearted again. Yes. <laughs> yes? Mrs. Charles, your grand cleaning would get dropped off. <laughs> you want one of the boys to run it up? Uh, my grand cleaning? The frilly stuff you mean, sister. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, do you think you could, uh, Nana? Is everything okay? Yes, dear. Why wouldn't it be? You look worried. She's probably constipated. <laughs> do you think you can bring it up later? Okay, Mrs. Charles. 
And, and if you don't want one of them to bring it up, I'd be right down and get it down. No, you've had a long day. You need to go downstairs and worry about anything. Are you still there? They would change all. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I could just go down. No, no, no. No, you won't be down? I yes, I will be down. Can't wait for me. Only me. Can't for a good buddy. Can't for a good buddy. Nan, are you sure you're okay? I'm absolutely fine. But you, you look tired. Why don't you go and lie down? I'm wide awake now. Nonsense. You look tired. Doesn't she look tired, Vera? Actually, I am tired. <laughs> Vera, you help Bridget make her bed and get settled in while I pop downstairs. And Bridget, see if you can find those hearing aid baddies for Vera. I need an extra set here. <coughs> What'd she say? I think my hearing aid just shortened out. How long, Vera? Do you know where your hearing aid batteries are? No idea. Hey, kid. How about a drink? It's not even noon, Vera. Oh, good point. <laughs> I know. A Bloody Mary. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be an interesting summer. Okay. <laughs> if I were hearing batteries, where would I be? Salary? I'm sorry? What? What did you say, Vera? <sighs> Do you want salary? For what? Oh, honestly, you don't deserve salary in your Bloody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
confirmation call? You didn't? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I just called early to let you know. Uh, that your order will be ready this afternoon. Yes, 1.15 is a perfect time to drop by. Yes, the shipment came in today. Should be here well before then. And I'll have everything ready for you. Oh, no, thank you. I certainly appreciate your business. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. I'm just saying a man appreciates a woman who knows how to clean. You know, with your coaching, I ought to be a pro in no time. <laughs> Who's on the phone? What? Phone. Who was who? On the phone? Yes, the phone, Nana. Are you both deaf now? <laughs> My bridge partner. Your what? Bridge. Cards. She had to cancel tonight. She lost too much of bingo the night before. <laughs> I something like that. Uh, Bridget, you want a Bloody Mary? I'm good, Nana. Thanks. Avira. Oh, you are you don't play bingo. Oh, do you have enough celery? I've been trying to get you to play bingo for years and could never get you to say yes. No, I think I have some more in the kitchen. You've been holding out on me, haven't you? I'll be right back. <laughs> I bet she plays Texas Hold'em without me, too. <laughs> you play poker? <laughs> Look at this face, kid, for the bluff. <laughs> I have a feeling this summer's going to be an interesting learning experience. Darn too, it'll be. Hey, move these boxes. It's taken up my walker's parking space. You don't think Nan will mind if I shove them in the closet, do you? Shove away. It'll save me having to do it later.
after that death march I took today, I'm feeling a little weak. It was not a death march, it was motivational therapy. Now, put it higher. I can't reach any higher. Well, stretch. <laughs> Here, kid. Of course. 
Last night was bingo night at the Presbyterian Church down the block. And I handed out my flyers to my targeted audience. Oh, I'll show you one. I need to sit down. <laughs> Ta ta. <laughs> Saucy slips, etc. Designing lingerie that will fire men up for a price that won't burn a hole in your wallet? <laughs> I, I what she said. Uh, can you tell me what this is? I haven't got my glasses on. No sales tax charged. You're not charging retail sales tax? Oh no, the New York sales tax is far too steep. And since I'm not giving any of the money to the government, wouldn't be right to tax my clients. <laughs> Nana, I'm almost afraid to ask you this, but do you have a license to sell things on private property? Oh, apple pie, you're so adorable. Of course not. What'd she say? My hearing aids are dying. Nana, what you're doing is illegal. You're breaking the law. This is why Schmidt can't find out about any of this. Huh? You just advertise publicly at a senior citizen's bingo game. Well, I don't see how anyone can find out about it. All my clients know perfectly well not to breathe a word to anyone. Yeah, and right. since I'm not filing the income in my taxes, it wouldn't be right to... What? Uh, now you're breaking several laws, man, and you can't do this. This is why I didn't want to tell you. I knew you wouldn't understand. Well, you could have told me, Sylvie. I did, Vera. I told you several times, but I don't think you heard me. Huh? <laughs> I told you when I wanted to make my lingerie business, I said, Vera, I'm going to make lingerie for a living. Oh, I thought you said you were making a lasagna for Thanksgiving. <laughs> when I didn't get any, this is really disappointing. <laughs> now it all makes sense. Nana, how long did you say you've been doing this? Six years. Six years and still no lasagna. <laughs> All but waiting. Well, after your grandfather died, I was bored to be perfectly honest. And so I thought, Sylvia, you know what you need is a hobby. Well, I realized I can't knit, and I hate to bake, and nothing was really interesting to me. And then I thought of lingerie. Exactly. Rose on the brain. <laughs> well, I was always happiest when I had a job, so I thought, why not make it my business? It was pretty rocky at first, but after a few years, I started getting a steady clientele, starting with one particular customer who's been with me since day one. Who? Well, it sure as hell wasn't me. <laughs> and all this time, that all those broads you had coming and going, I thought it was part of a new painting you were doing. Are you talking about last month when you had to buzz in my models, right? Yeah. Models? Yes, they're my winter chickens. <laughs> winter chickens? Yeah, they're like spring chickens, only they're older. <laughs> Prohibition, 
He was a bit of a bootlegger. So he turned the apartment into a speakeasy. I <laughs> made a few architectural improvements. <laughs> well, anyway, the depression depressed Maury. And when drinking was made legal again, he decided to move into a smaller apartment with fewer memories of the good old days. Well, the timing was just right for your grandfather and I. We were looking for a place of our own, and we got in here for a steal. Ma'am, you can't be doing this. You cannot be doing this. Oh, hush, Bridget. I am doing it. And I'm doing it quite well. But, you know. Now, I've lost track of time, and I'm late. Can I ask you two a favor? Favor? Chocolate for me. <laughs> what kind of favor? Chocolate. <laughs> well, I have to run downtown to the Golden Boys Golden Age uh, Choir Concert. Uh, it's business. I'm meeting my last two models there. And Schmidt gets too suspicious if you meet too many of them here. Now, do you think you can hold down the fourth? You, you, you mean run the, with the racks and the closet, all, all this? I need you to run the store. I'm expecting a big shipment to come in. And my best client is coming by at one. Well, couldn't you just reschedule? Absolutely not. When a client wants to come, they come. Now, you mind your manners. Give them anything they want. I'll probably be back before they arrive anyway. But what if something happens? What could possibly happen? You know, now that I think about it, it's a good thing you two found me out. I could use the extra help around here. Oh, well, you could have asked me, Sylvia. I would have been glad to pitch in. Well, I know what will make it up to you, Vera. You could be my partner. But we could run this together. As of now, you two are under the employ of saucy slips, etc. Oh, wow. Now, fold some of those flyers while I'm out. No, 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 no. We're not letting anyone in. She's going to get caught and thrown into some geriatric prison or something. <laughs> no one is going to come into or leave this apartment until we get this entire thing straightened out and convince her to give up this crazy idea. Is it Charles? Officer Hotstuff is here to see you. Can I allow him to go up? Sure thing, sugar. What? Didn't you hear? We're employees now. Huh. And I have seniority over you. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Vera, Tom can't come up here right now. Oh, you're right. I haven't got the cookies ready yet. I know, I'll get out some of those bacon bread cookies uh, and you fire up the oven. No, Vera, you have to help me hide all this. Oh, Tom won't mind a little mess. I wonder where the hell Sylvie keeps those baking sheets. Hmm. Uh, uh, just, I, just a minute, Tom. Uh, uh, we have a little problem, a big problem. We have to put the flyers and the slips away. What? The flyers, the slips. Huh? I'll just go put the cookies in the oven. Okay. Just a second, Tom. We got a little problem. Uh, a big problem. Bridget, please open up. This is serious. Uh, just a minute. Vera's getting your cookies ready. You haven't let Romeo in yet. What about the cookies? Oh, I just put them under the broiler. They'll be ready in a minute. <laughs> no, no. You don't put cookies under the broiler? Oh. You gotta do something with your hair, kid. You look a little crazy. <laughs> oh, Tom. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Are you still unpacking? Unpacking? Oh, repacking. You're repacking your boxes? Boxes? What boxes? Oh, these boxes! Yeah, I'm unpacking my boxes. You think you could do it a little bit more quickly? Well, I kind of thought I was, but... Just that it's, it's illegal, you know. 
Legal? No, nothing illegal is going on here. Just me with my boxes and my things in it. Well, it is illegal. And I'm sorry, I'm not mad or anything. Mm -hmm. But I didn't tell you to move your car. And if you don't, then I'm going to have to give you a cookie. They're supposed to be like that. It, it's good for your teeth. Or your eyes or something. Oh, my car. I forgot to move my car. Yes, I know. I'll do it right away. That's good because there's a lot of swearing going on down there. And if we don't move it, then somebody calls in a complaint. They don't do no, you're right. I'll move it right away. And you should probably go. Oh, but, but, but he hasn't had a cookie yet. Sit down, Tom. Oh, not there, Tom. I think my cock car keys are there. Oh, there they are. Oh, thanks. Thanks. And uh, you help with milk. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm just going to go move my car. Someone's taking advantage of the New York zoning bylaws, but worse, of me. 
Really? Oh, are you following me? Try it. You're just worried that someone might try to take advantage of Sylvia just because she's in a rent control apartment. Wait. Ah, uh, no. No, but you don't think anybody would, would take advantage of an 80 year old woman? Who'd be cold blooded enough to restore hers? You never know. Uh. Tell you what, I'll keep an eye on you, please. And I'll let you know if they see a suspicious one. Really? Great. You do that. Well, here, take my card. You phone me if anything happens. People come over to visit. She gets something in the mail. Or, or what time she leaves to walk the dog. She doesn't have a dog. Right. Do a little detective work. Right, I will. I've always dreamed of being a detective ever since I read those Hardy Boy books when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, that's nice, I guess. Just remember, call me if any funny business happens. Sure thing. Anything to help out tell you. Hey, what's going on in there? I can't hear a damn thing. Has Schmitty left the premises yet? Yeah, he's gone. Sometimes I can't tell whether I actually can't hear something or I'm just doing it to get Schmitty's coat. Parking in this city is murder. It took me ten minutes just to go around the park. Tom, what are you still doing here? Oh, I had a cookie. Uh -uh. And the landlord came by. Yeah, what do you want anyway? He didn't just to talk, I guess. Oh. He did mention something about a package. Package? What kind of package? He didn't say it, just it was a large shipment and... Good. Well, I'll get milk. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom, you really should go. We don't want you to get in trouble with the boys for, you know, fraternizing with us normal citizens. Uh, you should just take some of these cookies for the road and... and just, just like, go. <laughs> Really nice seeing you, Tom. Come back soon. Bye. Bye. Did you park the car, kid? Oh, God, no. I just double parked a couple of blocks down. Did, did you hear what they were talking about? What kind of a stupid question is that? A package for Nana. You don't think it has anything to do with... Saucy slips, etc. All the odds tend to what it does. Here, sit down. Sit down. Before anything else happens, I need you to be on the same page as me. What Nana is doing is illegal. Oh, but it, you worry too much. It, it, if anything happens, you can go into one of those law books of yours and find a donut hole. It doesn't work like that, Vera. She gets thrown in jail for tax evasion, selling without a business license, acting crazy. Jail? Tax evasion? Mm -hmm. Found that guy on the phone. Oh, he died of syphilis, you know. Fear <laughs> Focus. Nobody can come up here. Not even Tom. Absolutely not. Especially not Tom. Well, I have to give him the rest of his cookies somehow. Oh, the shit hit the fan. <laughs> what happened? If there's any more excitement for this apartment, I'm taking my nap now. Oh, Vera, you can sleep when you're dead. It's worse. If it doesn't involve the police or the IRS, I don't want to hear about it. No, this is serious. Both of my models had to go to the doctors. What? I know, it's terrible. Well, are they okay? They're fine. The retirement home served sauerkraut last night. And they both came down with bad gas. <laughs> And now, I don't have anyone to model my last four outfits. They're my most important ones, too. They complete my line. And I wanted to get them up on my web space today so I could launch my site. Oh, uh, that's too bad. I feel bad. I feel awful. Really, I do. Can't get the website up. Well, I guess you won't be advertising on the internet at all. You know what? I have a better idea. Maybe you should just do no advertising whatsoever. That's probably best. What? And give in to defeat? Absolutely not. I was distressed at first. Oh, understandably so. But then I thought I have the perfect mom right here in my own home. She's beautiful. She's funny. She looks good in red. <laughs> I'll do it! <laughs> no way. Hey, kid. Look, when I was your age, I was the cat's meow. And I've still got pretty damn good looking legs, don't I, Sylvie? 
You know, they don't look a day over 60, Vera. <laughs> so you'll do it? Of course I will. Show me to my dressing room. Oh, who will be the second model? Oh, I don't know, Vera. Oh, Sylvie, you must. Think of your art. Well, I love lingerie, but I haven't put on any since my husband. Oh, man, a woman. <laughs> well, Anna, I love you and Vera dearly, but I don't think I want to see either one of you in lingerie. <laughs> Please, Bridget, we need you. We need you to take the pictures and for support. Oh, Bridget should wear lingerie, too. What? <laughs> Sure, camaraderie, emotional support, etc. I am not wearing some obscene lingerie for your website. Well, no offense, darling, but uh, my line isn't targeted to your generation. Uh, Vera and I will be the models. Oh, I'm just kind of nervous about doing that. Oh, please, Bridget, we need you. Really, we do. It'll make a good story one day. Yeah. Please, Bridget, it'll be fun. And I'm curious to see what my designs would look like on a younger gal. Oh, you could branch out to the under 60s crowd. <laughs> oh my god. Good, she'll do it. Let's get this show on the road. Oh. Here, Vera, you take this, try it on in the bedroom. Just a minute, you've got to smile. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bridget. Yeah. You know what your problem is? You don't have enough fun. <laughs> Excuse me, if my idea of fun doesn't include saucy slips and tax evasion. <laughs> Hush, Bridget. I'm not a young woman anymore, and I realize I don't have a lot of time to enjoy life. So I'm going to do what I want to do while I can still do it. Now, I'm not hurting anybody. And to hell with all those questions and problems you keep yapping about. Now, be a good girl. Make your old grandmother happy. And try this on. But it's not hurting anyone. And I need you. Really, I do. Fine. <laughs> good.
Playboy for pensioners. What a novel idea. Uh, uh, Bridgie, grab the camera in my bag. Come on, let's rock and roll. Bring it up. Dun, 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 dun. I need a drink. <laughs> is it Charles? Your package has arrived. And I must say you were not forthright in revealing the quantity of this particular delivery. He'll go away. I won't answer, and he'll go away with his stupid boxes. Mrs. Charles. Mrs. Charles. Dear Walters. Are you there? Nobody here. Take it all away. Have it all returned. Well, I'm not sure if you can hear this or not, but Officer Goodlucky was down here a few minutes ago. Said he'd come back and help the UPS man unload, so... No, no, hi, hi. It's Bridget, Sylvia's granddaughter. Uh, don't send the boxes up with Tom. Why don't you bring them up? Anyone but Officer Goodlucky. Nana? What's in that package you're expecting today? Oh, is it here already? Yes, so Tom's offering to help us unpack it. Oh, well, that's sweet of Tom, but he mustn't see merchandise. Uh, he wouldn't understand. He doesn't have anybody to buy him vegetables. Just what are you expecting? Oh, there's some flyers, a few dressmaker uh, dummies, some bolts of fabric, and some slips that I sent out to a sewing company. Oh, my best client placed a huge order, and I didn't have the manpower to get it done, so I outsourced. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh. Uh, would you like some milk and cookies? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is my granddaughter. She's here all summer? Yes. Thank you, God. <laughs> um, where, where are the rest of my boxes? Huh? Uh, downstairs. Well, go get them, dear. <laughs> Nana, these are from your sewing company, but oh my God. Are they too wonderful for words? Yeah, they're pornographic. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. My taste level is... Oh. I didn't want these. What is that man doing? And this one? Absolutely not. It's not even my color scheme. What do we got here? More slips for me to try on? Oh. <laughs> Sylvie, I refuse to pose like this. <laughs> well, these aren't mine. What does that packing slip say? Saucy lips. <laughs> Saucy lips? Boldly going where no lips have gone before. No, no, Nana. I think there's been some mistake. The website must have got your order to switch with someone else's. Because unless your big client is into s and I think we have a problem here.
We'll sew. We will? Well, sure, I'm better at that machine than you are anyway. We'll get the order done and see what happens. We can't just recreate a whole order. Oh, please, Bridget. It's the most important client I have. I think I'd be a mess after six years. So you've got to stop writing on our picnic. You're either in or you're up. Fine, fine, let's just get this over with. All right. Bridget, open up. What is it, Tom? I found your car parked, double parked again. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have to give you a ticket. Open up. Just a 